Simple sentences can be divided into two parts, a subject and a predicate. The former states what the sentence is about, the latter what is asserted or said about the subject. In terms of clausal elements, the predicate may consist of a verb and different combinations of objects, complements and adverbials. In Julie buys her vegetables at the market, Julie is the subject, buys her vegetables at the market the predicate and buys the verb, her vegetables the object, at the market and adverbial. In logic, the term predicate is used to describe the logical relations within a sentence. The proposition P, Bruce is a moose, states something about an individual, in this case the individual Bruce, that has the property of being a moose. The sentence predicates something, in this case a property, of an individual. Although the predicate is not a separate structural unit in English grammar, it takes some significant properties. It is the part of a clause typically affected by clause negation, or it may be omitted through ellipsis. In German schools, pupils are taught that the term predicate refers to the verb of a sentence only. Later, they learn that it actually refers to the statement made in a sentence. In general terms, the predicate can be identified as any parts of phrases in a sentence besides the subject-noun phrase.